Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be taking a look at particle trails and how to control their length. Basic particle trails are pretty simple, but if you really want to min-max the system to get the longest particle trails possible, or just want a greater understanding of how particle trails work, this is the video for you. So let's take this particle system. Here we can see some particles using flocking to follow a randomly moving point and leaving a trail behind them. This looks fine enough, but let's say we wanted much longer particle trails. What are my options to do this? Firstly, we can simply increase the number of trail vertices. Particle trails generate by creating a new point per frame until it's out of points, in which case it begins to remove the points left behind. Adding a large number of trail vertices means there's a lot more to draw, but there is a catch. The trails are limited by the number of particles in the route, so we need to reduce it to allow more space for trail vertices. Well, now the particles are dying off before the trails do, so let's extend their lives to something much longer so they can't die off anymore. We will also need to remove the particle life randomness so they don't die randomly either. When raising the particle life this much, it's also important to change the particle fades so they don't spend the first few seconds completely invisible. I'm not interested in any fading, so I'm going to simply cut it out entirely. The trails also have a fade option, so you'll need to fix that one too. Now our trails are drawing points very close to each other, so I'm going to increase the control point spacing. This will set a minimum distance that the particles can generate new points between, so the particles will skip points that are too close to each other. Finally, we need to think about our frame rate. Because our trails generate at one point per frame, our frame rate has a lot of control over our trail length. If I lock the frame rate to 30, we can see our trail suddenly grows much longer as there is now a larger gap between simulation steps and therefore new points generate further apart. So with these steps done, we've got some fairly long particle trails. But what if we wanted to go much, much longer? Well, the first step like before is going to be increasing the trail vertices again. Currently at 300, we get trails that last about 10 seconds long. Now, if we set this to 50,000, we'll get particle trails that last just shy of 30 minutes. Lovely, now our GPU has something to think about. We can also see that when our particles move fast, we can see hard edges on their movement. Unfortunately, this is just a lack of simulation accuracy. So we can fix this by either increasing the frame rate or increasing the simulation steps per frame when exported to video. This works really well with the control point spacing attribute as you can add extra steps to keep the line smooth in corners, but again skip points where they aren't needed. Last but not least, a bonus tip. Particle geometry trails are, well, geometry, so they can be affected by deformers. So add a bit of life to the trails with a little bit of curl noise on the end. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.